Thursday the 27th of October and welcome to From the South. One policeman is reported to have died shot in the state of Miranda as tensions flared on Thursday across Venezuela during nationwide protest action. Governor of Miranda State, Enrique Cabrillo, who has been calling for violence to oust President Nicolas Maduro, did not link the death to opposition protesters. As the polarized country continues to react over last week's suspension of the referendum, Maduro has invited the opposition to reconciliatory talks this coming Sunday. Some of the opposition coalition members have accepted the invitation. Former Cuban leader Fidel Castro met with President Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa of Portugal this week. Not only did the two talk of boosting bilateral relations between the countries, they also discussed this week's vote at the United Nations against the US embargo on Cuba. For the first time ever, the United States abstained from voting against a procedural measure, a move that resulted in applause by UN General Assembly members. Fidel Castro reportedly thanked D'Souza for Portugal's help over the years, even in the face of the embargo. The Colombian government have stated that peace talks with the ELN, the National Liberation Army, will be suspended until a prisoner they have requested has been released. President Juan Manuel Santos confirmed the cancellation of the meeting after doubts were cast on whether or not it would move forward on Thursday, as questions remained over whether or not the ELN would release the hostage Odin Sanchez. The peace talks were formally to have started on October 27th at 5 p.m. local time. The first round of negotiations, once initiated, will last 45 days, with a total of 22 rounds expected. Belgium has announced that it had reached a deal with the defiant region of Wallonia to move forward with the Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, or CETA, between the European Union and Canada. The agreement is set to be signed within days after the regional governments and the country's government have come to an agreement. We have many results. The European Parliament awarded its Sakharov Prize for freedom of thought to two Iraqi Yazidi women. The women were held as sex slaves by Islamic State group militants and now campaign for human rights. The Yazidi are a religious sect whose beliefs combine elements of several ancient Middle Eastern religions. Islamic State group considers them devil worshippers. On the fourth day of the Calais jungle refugee camp demolition, bulldozers cleared mounds of debris and tore down makeshift homes. French authorities say 6,000 people have already been evacuated from the site. However, there are fears that child migrants unable to flee will be left in limbo. Emergency workers came out to assist the thousands of residents left homeless by the earthquakes that struck central Italy overnight. Despite widespread damage in many towns, there were no reports of anyone killed or buried under the rubble. However, sniffer dogs are being used to check through the piles of debris left by destroyed buildings. Israeli authorities decided on Monday to temporarily extend the allowed fishing zone of the coasts in the northern Gaza Strip from 6 to 9 nautical miles for one month. According to Israeli officials, the fishing zone is expected to be reduced again to six nautical miles at the end of November. However, the officials said the extension might stay in effect for another month if the Palestinian side maintained calm in the maritime borders. Israel has decided to expand the fishing zone off the southern portions of Gaza's coast from 6 to 9 nautical miles on November 1st. We hope that the fishing zone off the Strip's coastline extends to 20 nautical miles in accordance to the 1993 Oslo Accords. This is our legitimate fisherman's right that has been recognized by the international community. On April 3, Israel extended the fishing zone of the southern coast of the besieged territory to 9 nautical miles before it reduced it to 6 nautical miles again in June. However, during the holy month of Ramadan, authorities re-extended the fishing zone once again to 9 nautical miles due to abundance of fish at the time. Fishermen are looking forward to October's fish harvest to make it through winter and save some money. Fishermen in Gaza face daily risks including shooting, being arrested and having their boats damaged or confiscated. Israel has continuously violated a ceasefire agreement reached with Palestinian militant groups after the last Israeli aggression on Gaza in 2014 by Egyptian meditation. Under the agreement, fishermen are allowed to sail within six miles off of the shores of Gaza. However, investigations carried out by the Palestinian Center for Human Rights, PCHR, 
said that the Israeli attacks on Palestinian fishermen take place within six miles. Nuharazin Tisu TV, Gaza. Syrian volunteers organized a color carnival in the Atma camp on the Turkish Syrian border, where several displaced Syrians now live. The festival was organized specifically to get the displaced Syrians out of the atmosphere of war and destruction that they live in. More on these and other stories on our website telesortv.net/slash English.